Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Wherever you listening to this podcast right here, it is episode 43 of the Temple Zone Podcast with your host, me, a man, Max, and that's all facts, aka Mr. Versatile, aka Young Stephen A. We're back with another one, ladies and gentlemen. My special guest here, man, is a singer. She's killing it right now, man. Very prominent on social media. She's always got something out there, putting stuff out, dropping dope music for y'all, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jolly Cure in the building. Hello, hello, hello. Did I pronounce your name, the name right? It's uh, Jolly Cure. Jolly Cure. So I was close. I was, you okay. were very close. Okay, I knew I knew no matter how I said it, I was like, I'm probably I didn't hit it with the, that French on it. You, you know got, what I'm saying? You gotta pronounce the ch. Ah, so jolly <laughs> cœur. Jolly cœur. Jolly cœur. Okay, okay. I think I, I think that was. I'm improving. We'll work, we'll work on it. <laughs> my name. That's actually my last name, right? Jolly cœur. Okay. It means pretty heart in French. Oh, okay, okay. So pretty that's heart. where the pretty heart music comes from. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, so the, the cur is the heart, right? Yeah, okay. so jolie is pretty, and then cur is heart. Okay, I, 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 took, I took French in, high, in college. <laughs> yeah, I was terrible, though, but uh, I, my, my French is... It's all right. It's, it's okay. Yeah. I, I can... Un peu de français. <laughs> Uh, uh, we. A little bit of French. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's why that's like a we, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could definitely freshen up on that. <laughs> Are you, uh, like, French, French-Canadian? Yeah, so I'm French-Canadian, Native American, Portuguese, and Irish. Wow, there's a lot going on. <laughs> <I'm> a lot. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going on there. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So, I mean, that's dope. You know, you just use the last name, you know, rep it. That's, you know, that's who you are. So Exactly. Yeah, you're not, you know, choosing anything too crazy with it. So, I like that. So what what got you uh, starting to make music? What was the the leap that you took to finally start doing it? Oh man, I've been singing since I learned how to talk, basically. So <laughs> just kind of uh, was just in the family. <laughs> so it's in the family. A lot of my family are very musically inclined. A lot of artists, dancers. So we, we're very into the arts. All type ki- all types of arts: writing, mm-hmm. uh, sculptures, music. All different kind of stuff. It's all about creating. Yeah, exactly. Hell yeah, hell yeah. No, that, that's really dope. It's what makes life meaningful. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I, I'm, I, you know, I love just the arts in general. Like, whatever anyone out there is doing, whether, you know, you're a painter or, or just, you know, or you're writing books or just, just uh, uh, anything of that nature, it's something to really appreciate. Not too many people can use that part of the brain. Um, just how some people are just insanely good at math, you yeah. know. It's, 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 I am not one of those yeah, people. Yeah, same here. No, <laughs> I'm I'm terrible at math. So you know, it's just, it's, it's just like one of those things. And I think, um, you know, it sounds like you've always just been in the arts. You know, I think with us, it, you know, we. Yeah, you know, music comes so easy to us, so we feel like everyone else kind of is like that too. Yeah, it's like nah. So some people don't see it that way. I guess you know we take I mean? it for granted. Yeah, you know, we definitely do take it for granted. No, for sure. So I think it's um, it's very important to understand how special that is. Like seriously, especially like you growing up in it. Like that's yeah. it's definitely a big deal. Definitely. Um, who were some artists that you've looked up to growing up, who have molded the sound to what it is? Oh man, so. It was really hard for me to pick a genre. Yeah, I feel like my genre. Yeah, yeah, because I feel like your sound, like you, I can, I can tell you have taken from everywhere. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I can really, I can really see that in your music. So like growing up, I would listen to a lot of oldies, like with my parents. I love like that old school twang and country music. And then there's mm-hmm. like Janis Joplin and like Celine Dion. I remember like screaming power of love yeah, in yeah. my bathroom <laughs> when I was like seven years old. My yeah, dad yeah. knocking on the door being like, hey, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dad, like, it's like, I love this song. I'm pouring my heart out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like be with me on this. Like, <laughs> yeah, but I like to take from everywhere, like all genres and just kind of like make my own kind of style almost yeah definitely definitely i can i uh, like i was saying like i feel you know, i feel like a lot of artists don't like to implement 
everything that they've ever heard ever and putting it into their own. They might just be like, oh, like I'm rap, so let me focus on rap. I'm I'm R and B, so I can focus on R and B. But I think it's very important that people, you know, it, no matter what your background is, you taking everything and exactly. putting it to your own. Cause, I'm a jack of all trades. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you definitely. Like, it, I was. I, it was very obvious when I first heard. Um, the first song I heard by you was uh, was um, insecure. And so I felt like with that song, I was like, you know, it's not my, it you know, you were featured on it, but I felt that like, oh, okay, I can see that she's taking like, you know, it's like from pop, R and B, yeah. hip hop, you know what I'm saying? I can tell that's definitely that was the first song I ever recorded. Wow, what, what was that like? It was crazy. Like I, I started off. I mean, I've always done music. I've always written and stuff, but I, I made a leap last year, and I just kind of, I made a, a music Instagram. Mm. Um, so just because I didn't want like uh, my regular followers to be like, oh, like why does she keep posting like a bunch of these singing videos? Like I don't want to annoy people, so I was like, yeah. hey, like I made a separate Instagram if you guys want to like listen to me sing. Mm -hmm. Um, so I did like a lot of covers, a couple um original songs, and then um Piff Asimar and Piff actually hit me up on IG and he was like, hey, like you have a really like dope voice. I've been sitting here listening to your videos for yeah. like an hour now and like <laughs> I would love to get you in the studio. And I was like, okay. And he was like, I actually have like a song that I think that your voice would be like really great on. And he sent me the beat to Miss Insecure and his part and mm -hmm. I started bawling my eyes out. <laughs> yeah. I really did. The first time I heard it, I was like, oh my God, like I can relate to this so much and it's like mm -hmm. not even my part yet. Yeah, like, yeah. And no, because like I was already feeling those emotions. I don't know how the hell, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, the dots were connected, but yeah, I I got right in there and I was like, absolutely, I can, I can definitely work with this. And yeah. Once that song was done, I cried a little bit more. <laughs> I was like, yes, like yeah. this is going to make people feel something and that's what I love. Like I love... Mm -hmm to see people's reactions. I love that people can actually be like, okay, yeah, actually I've been through this kind of scenario and I kind of felt the same way. And it's crazy that you put it like mm -hmm. into words, like into a song. Yeah, definitely. And, um, you know, making music that people relate to, is just so important, you yeah, know, actually is. having an impact and making people feel like they're not alone on this. Um, it's, it, it goes such a far way, which is probably why you were so, um, like, uh, emotional about this song because you realize just how important it was and on top of that was your first time stepping into the music game so that's that's really huge uh, were you were you really nervous in the studio that first time did that did, did a lot of nerves get, kick in no no nah, i was no, just re you were ready to go like, i was ready to go i was like yeah, yeah i've been waiting for this for a long time so i just like i went in there and like put all my emotions into it and i feel like that's when you get like the best songs it's like when you put all of your emotions, everything you're feeling into the mic, like mm -hmm. that's when it comes out the best. That's when like people can actually feel your energy. Yeah. And the it was history. Yeah, the real, <laughs> yeah, exactly. The real, you know, um, people know when you're being real about it. You know, yeah. they, you can't you can't shy away from that. People are always gonna tell. Yeah, you can make a song where you're faking it, and people might still like it because the message is dope. But when you're real about what you gotta say. People are always gonna find a way to gravitate towards that, exactly. and I think, and I think with this song, like it definitely showed. Um, and the reason why I asked if you got nervous, be, you know, being in the studio first time, because I've seen a lot of people step in the studio for a first time. They gotta do many takes over and over and over again just because it's so oh man, stifled. I did yeah. so many takes. Yeah, <laughs> so many takes. Yeah. But I wasn't nervous. Like I was just nah, like, ready, nah. like for the experience. But yeah. like I definitely had no idea how a studio worked at all. And like, gotcha. I I'm still like kind of fucked up with engineering. Like I don't. I, if you're asking me for input, I have no input for you because I don't know what you're doing over there. I can just do me. And yeah. That's yeah. About it. <laughs> like, Mm -hmm. Nah, but that engineering, engineering is a whole nother beast when it comes to music. And uh, like, you know, you don't, you don't have to step into that realm if you want to. Hey, more power to you. Yeah. Now, you now, you know, more things going on. But I mean, I, I wouldn't really stress that part too much. Mm -mm. Yeah, definitely rely on the people who've been doing this just as long as you've been singing for it. Right. You know, exactly. like those, those are the people you want to. You know, have listened to on that stuff. So that, that's dope. Uh, it's you, you hit it out the park with the first one. So, <laughs> Thank you so much. yeah, uh, seriously, seriously, coming out swinging. Yeah, coming out, you came out swinging <laughs> with it. Seriously, not too many artists. Their first like introduction to the music, they come out like with just something like cool. Sometimes people gotta make it two. Really is a whole vibe. Yeah, you know, it's like slow, but it definitely bangs. Like it slaps. If you listen to that 
in the car. Yeah. Like, yeah. with the bass up. It's like, damn, like, yeah, ooh. Yeah, that 808 hits. in my heart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that 808 be hitting. Yeah. Exactly. Nah, nah, I feel you all that. Hell yeah. Um, What do you think are some things about your music and just you in general that makes you stand out from everyone else in this saturated music game? Because it is saturated. It right? absolutely yeah. is. No one can deny that. Fact. I feel like I have, like, a very unique sound. And... My personality is very, like, bubbly. I'm very, like, personable. I love to make people laugh. I mm-hmm. love to make people feel something. So, I, like, I really bring it out in my music, whether it's something that's sad or something that's, like, sexy or, like, something mm-hmm. that's, like, okay, let's get this money. Yeah, Like, yeah, I yeah. can do everything. Like, <laughs> I, I got that. Mm-hmm. No, I agree with you there. You definitely have this. Uh, you definitely have this positive personality into your music that I've definitely uh, have noticed, and I think that's what may has made people really gravitate towards yeah. it. So that's definitely good. Definitely keep that up. Always, you know, definitely keep that energy up because you know a lot of artists out here are very. <laughs> They're, they're insecure. <laughs> you know, yeah. Hence the, the song. Yeah. I was like, I did one thing. I was thinking of another word. I was like, yeah, well, yeah, no, well, they just. I can relate. Yeah, exactly. So, and, and, and to be able to wear your, that, put that S on your chest, it definitely is, it's very important. So, yeah. that's really good that you're getting that out there. And you don't understand, like, you what type of inspiration you might be putting on to other uh, female artists in the game who might see you and go oh shit like sh- look at her like just being like all bold about it like yeah. maybe maybe I want to step into it you as well you could be so. like however you want everybody has a different personality but like as long as you own that like that's good like mm-hmm. I don't like I'm not trying to compete with anybody I'm trying to keep compete with myself let's be mm. honest like I just want to bring out all that good energy. Like, I love, like, doing meet and greets in Boston. Like, I've been going yeah. to 222 for the past couple Wednesdays. Like, tomorrow's another one. They do, like, industry night. So a okay. bunch of people from the music industry, I mean, in Boston, like, are there. And it's uh, good for networking. It's good to meet new people to, like, maybe collaborate with. Yes. And mm-hmm. I really like it. I'm, yeah. I've been making a lot of good connections. Yeah, that's that's really dope. You've been uh just you know getting your word out to the people. Um, meeting the, you know shaking as many hands and just getting your word your name out there. You know, word of mouth will never that will always be the number one way to promote yourself. Right. Word of mouth. That right. no matter what, how po- how popular social media gets, the internet, all that stuff. Word of mouth always works. Absolutely. Grassroots, you know. Um, uh, this episode will be coming out after this event, but explain the event that's going on tomorrow. So tomorrow's actually the first women's empowerment night. So oh, it's all hell yeah. female performers that's everywhere. Ta- from like, there's gonna be a piano player who's gonna be singing, and then there's like a bunch of rappers, a couple R&B artists, and okay, like there'll be vendors and food and drinks and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. Sounds yeah, like yeah, it just gives us an opportunity to just link up and like have a chill time and like enjoy each other's company and enjoy each other's music, like get to know like who these people are and figure out if you can like mm-hmm. collab with them at all. And I think that's really cool. Yeah, no, that's great, and especially just being a night where it's like yo, only only women performing. All right, right. <laughs> we put the men up- are encouraged to come. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Show up for that. Uh, even though this is coming out <laughs> after it, but hey, you know, uh, when other, when other events like that show up more, y'all definitely support, man. You gotta support. You gotta su- yeah. mm-hmm. support the women. Yeah, for All real, the queens. Yeah, you know, and and I I know that event will have dope artists who are showcasing dope talent. So yeah. I know I know it'll definitely be a dope time. Uh, you probably are gonna be performing growing season. Absolutely. Performing growing season. Okay, Absolutely. I'm about to say. I'd be, I, I'd be shocked if you didn't. I'd be like, <laughs> come on, come on. You better perform that one. Um, explain uh, how you came up with that song. So, a couple years ago, I was in like a really toxic relationship. And after Miss Insecure, I was like, you know what? No, like, I'm mm-hmm. not going to be insecure anymore. Yeah. I'm going to own myself and I'm going to own what I want to do and what I'm comfortable with and what makes me happy. And that's when I started just putting together this song. I was like, it's time to grow. It's mm. growing season. It was getting mm-hmm. into summer. No, it was getting into spring. And I was like, this is the time that everything grows. Like, it's growing season. Yeah. I was like, okay, well, let me make a song like based upon that. And I think I freaking nailed it. You did. No, nah, no. Nah, that's that's another dope one. Yeah, definitely. And I think that... um. You know, but right now you're definitely showing you you do got a lot to say. It's not just like oh, like party this or you know like you know none of that. Like it's kind of like hey, like you know just 
you know, the betterment of me. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, that's kind of like the exactly. message you're getting out there. It's like, hey, like, I ain't perfect. And I'm letting y'all know. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, you know. I, Nobody's perfect. No and one's I perfect. I feel like yeah. for anybody to make it seem like they are, it's like that's just a whole other story. And mm-hmm. that's a whole other problem. And I feel like as you just have to own who you are and just know that, like, you're on the right path. Mm-hmm. And that's how you grow without saying like oh this is what i have to be instead of just saying like this is who i am and this Mm -hmm. is i don't even know how to explain it it's like no i feel you yeah just go through the motions and be who you are rather than being like oh like i wish i was like this or Mm -hmm. i wish i wasn't like this Mm -hmm. just own what you are right now and that's where the growth comes from once you accept who you are as a person everything else kind of falls into place Mm -hmm. it's like manifesting yeah yeah it's just you just go with the flow and what happens, happens, because that's, that's who you're going to be. Exactly. But I, I feel like, you know, when it comes to Instagram, you definitely do see a lot of people who will paint a perception of who they want people to see them as. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think that can kind of be, it can, it can definitely have some negatives to it. You know, and I definitely, I feel like I do see a lot of women who, who try to do that. Um, they try to show themselves in a way where it's like, like, are you, are you really doing all that you know what i'm right. saying so i feel like you know with your music it might just show like hey like it's it's not always you know like that you know like it's not always like that and it's like absolutely okay like a women are out here just trying to be sexy and like i like to feel sexy too but mm-hmm. you can be sexy and still intelligent and intellectual and emotional like mm-hmm. th- those are all things that a woman consists of and you don't have to be just one. Yeah, and the fact no. that society right now is like, oh, this is how a woman should be. It's like, no, a woman should be however she wants to be. And mm-hmm. she should feel all the things that she needs to feel because that's how you grow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's growing season out here. It's, it's growing mm-hmm. season. It's, it's always growing season. There's always, always room for us to develop, you know, whether man or woman. And I feel like, you know people definitely need to get that message more out there you know yeah you know you're doing it with this one i think it's very important and i think you know we'll see improvements with it because right now you know with social media being the way it is i think people just they think like oh like social media i can only show like the cool stuff that's what people tend to do no and a lot of people they always show the cool stuff post like stuff about them like being an artist and like this and that about me being an artist but like I don't even do that like <laughs> this is my personal Instagram that I've had since I was in like high school like, yeah, yeah I'm not trying to like paint a picture like oh like <laughs> I am now like gonna be famous like no I'm still me and I'm just making music now too exactly like, I don't really have like a brand like I'm just me like mm-hmm. branding kind of like fucks me up in the head I'm like wait but like why do I want to put on like this whole persona of who I am when this is who I am exactly I'd yeah I'd just be who I am yeah <laughs> Straight up, straight up, yeah. I don't know. You know, and a lot of I think a lot of artists here they think like, you know, when they promote, they only are showing like, you know, check out my new song, check out my video, check out my show, and nothing else. Yeah, no, nothing like, else. Like, like I literally, like to post like really funny shit on my stories, like to yeah. show that I have like a good personality too. Like, mm-hmm. you, it it's got to be everything. It's not just like oh, like look at this picture. Like this girl has like a fat ass. Oh, like this girl's <laughs> in the fucking Bahamas. It's yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> It doesn't matter, like, mm-hmm. but, like, what's your personality like? And yeah. It's really hard to show your personality through, like, any type of social media, but... Find a way, yeah. Find a way. There's, Find there's, a way to be you. Mm-hmm. There's plenty of memes out it. there. Yeah, exactly. Own that shit, too. Yeah. Very, it's very, very important, because I just, I just see way too many artists out here who are just shying away from who they are, and they think, like, just, you know, shoving their product down your face is going to work, because that's kind of what they're doing. It's like... You're not going to get much engagement off of that. Like, right. if I can't get by, like, there's so many artists who I end up liking more when I figure out who they are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 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 I think that's why, like, I got uh, someone like Tyler, the creator, is so, so successful because people see him and they see how he acts. And, he's, he, you know, he, he, he talks like, you know, he says what he wants. Like, he was just ripping right. on, you know, he was ripping on people who, like, you know, smoked the jewel. I'm like, bro, that's a lot of people who smoked the jewel, man. <laughs> like, <you know>. That's me. <laughs> 
<laughs> I I used to. I was on it for a bit. Um, I, I, no I'm judging. Off the jewel yeah, now. yeah, I'm off the jewel now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, shit, <laughs> that shit was everywhere for a bit though. It still is. I mean, it's still yeah. definitely. Yeah, is. <laughs> it's still everywhere. Like it's kind of hard to get, get off of that shit. <laughs> Nicotine's very addictive. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that's that's another discussion. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's talk about something a little bit more uh, serious. This um, you being a female artist. Have you ever felt that it's worked in your favor since, like, male, uh, you know, hip hop and R and B? These are dominated genres, that, uh, uh, dominated male genres. So, have you ever felt like things have worked in your favor more so because of that? I feel like, I mean, with R and B, it's one thing. Like, women are supposed to be like emotional and like very soulful. So yeah. Like, people are really liking the stuff that I've been working on. Like, I, I found a. Uh, a new engineer who has been really finessing all of my songs. So <laughs> yeah, like, he knows what I to have, do. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have, like, a couple songs that are, like, me rapping. Mm-hmm. And that's, like, a whole different story. When I show yeah. people, like, me rapping, they're like, holy shit, that's you? Yeah. Like, where the fuck did that come from? And I'm yeah. like, oh, I was mad that day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was feeling it. <laughs> come at me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. I got bars. Yeah, she got bars. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Uh, when, when do you plan on putting that uh, stuff out? Get into that rapping oh, bag. Oh, I don't know. It might, it might take a little while. I don't yeah. know if I'm comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't want people to think that I'm like coming out of pocket, like doing something that's not me. Uh, mm-hmm. But then again, like I'm ever evolving, ever changing. So mm-hmm. we'll, we'll see. Whenever I get comfortable enough to put it out, I'll do it. Yeah. But I have a whole like sequence of songs that are going to be coming out in the next couple months. So mm-hmm. they all have to be in order and like. I, I just have super OCD, so it's like I'm kind of like telling a story yeah. in all of these new songs. So like, the, it has to be in chronological order, and then the the rap one doesn't really fit. Yeah, it doesn't fit <laughs> in everything that else. Order, yeah, so yeah, yeah, we'll come to that maybe by the end of the year, hopefully. Mm-hmm. And I, I and it's good you mentioned that because I can tell that you understand that the music you're putting out. You got to make people know what they're coming for. You know what right. I'm saying? So I think you feel that if you put out this rap song. It might it might throw people off a little yeah. much. You're like, all right, yeah. all right, what, all right, what the hell? I is might she have doing? to wait. Yeah. Regardless <laughs> if it's dope, but it probably you know I, I'm gonna assume you oh, ki- you fire. killed it. I'll show <laughs> you after. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Uh, you definitely gotta show me that. But like, I definitely feel that um you know you, you're aware that all right, here's my sound, here's what I plan on doing, and I'm gonna stick with this. And if the people you know if you see that people want something different, we'll switch it up on them. You know what I'm saying? So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> love to keep them on the toes. Yeah, definitely. Would you would you say you have a lot of uh, unreleased songs in the bag? Oh yeah. Yeah. I have like <laughs> probably 10 unreleased songs that Uh-oh. I'm I still need to get them mixed and mastered. I'm actually going to the studio tonight to finish one of my songs that I'm going to perform tomorrow. Okay. So I'm going to I think I'm going to be doing 3. So the Growing Seasons one, I have one called Make It Right. Okay. And then another one called Bad For You and Bad For You is a Banger! Like Uh-oh. that's the best Uh-oh. song I've ever recorded, and Uh-oh. I'm so excited to share that one. But that one's the third out of the three. Yeah, 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 out, yeah. So you're gonna have to wait a minute. Yeah, they're gonna have to wait a minute on that because now I'm like, shit, I want to hear it now. <laughs> but I'll wait on it. I like, I'll, I'll have it be a surprise. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You probably have plan on releasing that like a little down the road, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. No, that's good. And um, you know, it sounds like you're patient with holding on to these records because a lot of artists. You know, we we get hype when we have something dope and we're just like, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. We got to put it out now. But it's like sometimes you got to have things marinate. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. And I think with what you have, what you're working on, you you know, you know, as a, you know, as an upcoming artist, like you don't got to put out all this music like right, that. Like, exactly. Yeah. I don't have like the whole world watching me. So it's not like anybody's like demanding it. I don't want to just like take my time when the time is right. Like. Mm-hmm. The time will be right. Yeah, the time will be right. <laughs> exactly, and I think that um, you're very aware of that because a lot of artists aren't. You know, they they think that oh, the more music, the better. The more music, but even like that doesn't work for all upcoming artists. You know, some people like not everyone has it like that, and that doesn't mean that you're you know, if you're putting out a lot of music, that means you're better than another artist who doesn't put out as much. It's just that sometimes your fan base calls for you differently. Right. Yeah. You know. Right. It's, just, it's just as simple as that. So I think that's good. You know. You know. You know exactly what you're getting at. Um. Mm-hmm. How old are you, by the way? 
I'm 24. I'll You're be 25 tw next month. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I was just I was just wondering, you know, because, you know, definitely, like, you know, a lot of people who may be maybe, like, 18 or 19 might not understand all those things, you know, in terms of, like, how to move and be consistent, you know, not c consistent, but more so, like, um, having, you know, knowing what their sound is, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because a lot of people might want to try a song where it's like EDM and then they do a song it's like trap it's like bro whoa whoa right. chill chill <laughs> like it's a large contract yeah like w what's your sound about you know what I'm saying so you're building that you're working on that and yeah. I think you're definitely on the right path so that's good that's good thank um you, thank you oh yeah for sure um do you think that there are enough upcoming female artists collaborating more in Boston no. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it enough. I don't either. see that at all. Women are just like hard. Like women, <laughs> like oh, I can't. I don't know. <laughs> women are very insecure. Yeah. And, like, if you have like another like. If you have two dope artists, like, they could both be insecure of each other. Yeah. It's like, oh, like, no, I don't want to do a song with her. Like, oh, I don't want to do a song with her because, like, she's better than me. Or, like, or, like you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's, like, very hard. Like, women in competition in Boston is tough. Yeah. It's very, very tough. But mm -hmm. I have, like, been, I have been meeting more artists from doing this, like, meet and greet thing at uh, 222. Okay. Um, Hell yeah. One of the girls, Taya Tana. She yeah. Just, a shout um, out to her. Yeah. She just opened for Megan the Stallion, so that's I saw that. Cool. Yeah, so she'll be there tomorrow. She's gonna be playing the piano and singing. Hell I'd yeah! I'd love to collaborate with her, and I might be doing a song with um, Tamar. Do Tamar. you know who Tamar is? Name sounds familiar. I'm a little teacup on Instagram. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tamar? okay yeah Tamar yeah yeah yep mm -hmm. I know you're talking about I went about to now. high school with Tamar um mm -hmm. we're both from Woburn and, and it's really funny because like until she blew up I didn't even know that she sang and then wow. she just came back from L A and I hit her up and I was like hey girl like I'd love to collaborate she was like wait I didn't even know that you sang and yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. yes we both sang like, <laughs> let's, let's figure it out so I sent her a couple tracks and we might chop something up. Okay, hell yeah, hell yeah. See, that's see, you, you, you're starting it right there. You know, you're trying to get more of the female artists to work with each other. Cause, man, I, I, I little, I'll be real with you. I have not seen it at all, anywhere. The female artists collaborating each other, working on stuff, and it's kind of crazy. Like I, I, you know, I, I'm surprised that um we don't see more of that. And it's not. This is not just a problem with female artists. I think it's just, you know, because it, you know, hip hop is. Uh, male dominated you're gonna s obviously see some male artists collaborating but even then you don't see enough of it I think a lot of people are, you know they just in too much of competition and like you said oh this person's better than me I don't want them shining over me or oh I'm way too much better than this person you know yeah so. that too it goes both ways and it just like depends on the kind of like people that you're trying to collab with mm -hmm. but I don't know I, I think in general Boston's music scene is not that great so we mm -hmm. have to be branching out and we have to be promoting each other and like helping each other out and like yeah making more connections because what are you gonna do just like sit in your box and like not <laughs> branch out or anything like everybody uh -huh. has to like work together to get this thing moving like, yeah yeah we need more exposure here like fuck going to new york fuck going to la like it's there's really so not, many yeah. talented people in boston but nobody supports each other and that's the worst thing about it Mhm. Mm oh yeah it's uh it's very unfortunate like it, and that too many people's egos get in the way yeah. and they think that like oh nah like all y'all competition fuck y'all i'm gonna i'm gonna do me i don't need y'all it's 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 a very it's a very unfortunate way that we look like, at yeah, it. Yeah, it's great to be yeah. independent, but it's also it shows way more strength to be able to work with people too. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm I'm trying to work with everybody. Right. Like for real, like right. I'm trying to work with everybody. You know, part of the reason I started this podcast was that way I could have a platform for artists like you and other artists who are aspiring to be something to have a platform to talk their talk and you know, show yeah. people like, "Hey, yo, my podcast, check it out. Check out all these dope artists that I have on who are doing something different, you know?" I love it. Yeah, so and that's part of the reason why I'm doing doing this because i really feel like we need we need a, a, a you know somewhere in boston where artists who are trying to do our thing can 
showcase ourselves, you know, in a different way than just right. performing on stage, right. you know. So I think. Oh, this is important. Yeah, you know. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, I'm just. You know, I. I you know, I don't. I don't do this for me. I do this for the people, for real. Because yeah. this. Trust me, it's, it's a lot of work. So <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of work, and you know, there's a lot that goes into it. So trust me, I, I do this for the people. Just to let have you know, show people like, hey man, like y'all look at you know, you want to find some Boston artists. Come this way. Tempest on. We, I got them all. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're working on trying to get other artists on, too. You know, um, not everyone says yes to this platform. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people come my way, too. But we're working on it. And I yeah. think, um, you know, I think you're, you know, you're also making the right path to try to work with more people. Get your name out there. Yeah. yeah it's very important. Um, I got to ask you this question. Have, have you worked with any male artists who you're just like, ah, this guy's creeping me the fuck out? Does that happen a lot? Uh, yes. Okay. I will not mention any names. Don't, no, 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 do I not. I will not put anybody on blast. <laughs> Don't do that. No, no, no. And if you did, I'll, I'll bleep it out post-production. Like it. <laughs> That's another thing about fe being a female. It's like people think that they're like entitled to you like as a person. Like I will absolutely work with anybody as long as you're respectful. But once yeah. you make it uh, something other than that, I'm like, Mm -hmm. See, that's not what I thought we were doing here. Yeah, so, that's like... messed up. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, yeah, 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 you don't really have to elaborate <laughs> anymore. Into detail. Yeah, no, no, I understand where you're going with that, and I, I that's that's the shit that pisses me off because it's like, you know, artists out here they they got these other intentions. Like, bro, like we're here to make music, man. Like, right. we are here to make music, bro. This is uh, we're on some business shit right, right. now. You know what right. I'm saying? And can't mix business and pleasure. It's like get out of my face. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, bro, relax. Yeah, <laughs> like go go somewhere else to do that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah it's it's very unfortunate. You got the wrong one. Yeah, yeah, it's not like that, you know. And I and I think and I think I just wish other artists saw it like that way. You know, like business is business. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you gotta handle it properly. You know. Um, and I, I I'm surprised more artists don't see it that way. Um, it is what it is though. You're gonna have some weird people in the bunch you know and then some people who, who handle their biz as well yeah. so what you gonna do about it you know what i mean um but <laughs> good good you didn't say no names <laughs> we, we don't we don't want to we don't want to call you by yeah i don't i don't do i, I don't we, we ain't getting spicy like that <laughs> not, today. No, not today maybe another time but, but not today <laughs> uh what would you say is the main message that you want people to get from your music i know you might have been piecing it out a little bit but if there's you know one way you'd want to Con, you know, condense that message what what would you want to be when it's out there i guess just i want be, people to be their authentic self mm -hmm. like a lot of my music comes straight from my heart like it's almost like diary entries like yeah, yeah. <laughs> everything that i say like i actually went through and music is some kind of therapy for me it's like once i get it on a piece of paper or like get it on a track it's like i feel so much better and then i can listen to it over and over and i'm like wow like i just made something beautiful with my emotions so like mm. it, i love that music gives you an opportunity to do that and i want more people to be able to to feel that yeah definitely definitely um so many people out here just um they they you know it the power of music is no joke, and when people can finally, you know, hear somebody who's going exactly what they're going through, exactly everything that they have felt, like that really can save someone's life. Like so music can save someone's life, right. you know. And 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 literally, like it's, it's not like you have to talk about, oh, I was down, I was suicidal, and now I'm not. It's like you don't have to say it like that. Your music could just have that emotion in it, like, right. the, and have or those. You, just yeah. even in the beat, your beat could the, have that kind of emotion, the and beat then you could just like it. sing on top of that and enhance the beat. Mm -hmm. like, and that right there can, yeah, it's just it, yeah, it gives can, me chills. Yeah, same <laughs> It's like it's 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 seriously that important, like what the power of music can do and i think as artists we got to understand that we have that power to really make a difference to really yeah. say something and, and you know at the end of the day though just make dope music and you know and the, the message will get out there so i think that's really dope what you're doing and i think uh honestly i really think you know you're gonna be going up from here because i really like the thank sound you. that you're doing no thank seriously you, seriously you so yeah seriously um this is just the beginning yeah it's, oh it's yeah just the beginning it's just the beginning you know only going up from here um I didn't ask you this question, but uh, who are some artists nowadays that you have been vibing with? Ooh. In any way, don't have yet. 
I love like SZA. I love Kehlani. Mm-hmm. I love Halsey, but like I also love Adele and mm. Lana Del Rey. So like I. Oh, oh, Miley Cyrus is back and slapping. Yeah, Miley Cyrus is Ooh. killing it recently. Yeah, she's yeah. she ain't one playing. Of my yeah. Favorites ever. Like even when I was little, I was like, wow, I love her. And now like I love her even more because she's like way crazier. And I was like, yeah. yes, she, you are your authentic self. She so, don't like, give a I damn. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Ariana Grande. Yeah, I love yeah, Ariana Grande's music's dope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Halsey's another one they be sleeping on. I mean, I, I well not so not sleeping on, but um. I think she's in, well. Kalani's the one I feel like people are sleeping on. Yeah. You know, because I think SZA mm-hmm. gets her respect. Halsey gets her respect. Obviously, Dej Loaf doesn't get enough respect either. Dej Loaf like, don't get enough. She's respect. like a wild rapper too. Like yeah, she's like very good at like everything she does. She does like the soul, the R and B, and the rap, and it's like she does it all in one song. It's yeah. Like, how do you? <laughs> How mm. I love it. Yeah, no, nah, she's another dope one. Um, I also like her. Hers really good. Her, yeah, yes. Yeah. Hers another yes. one where I feel like she's just killing it. I think you know, like everything I've heard by her is just crazy. Like she's, like, <laughs> yeah, yes. she's always doing something dope. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, SZA, I, like you know. Uh, her Ariana Grande Ariana is like the top though Like it yeah, comes like really It is. comes to like this Like the artist right now Like I, I was like Billie Eilish right now Is crazy too. Oh yeah like, I forgot all about Billie Eilish her. She is so creative She's so different And I watch yeah. I know And yeah. she's like so true to herself And I love that I watch so mm-hmm. many interviews with her And I'm like Oh my god Like she's so truthful And like so open About like You can ask her anything And she will answer it mm-hmm. Like Straight up, yeah. It doesn't matter what you want to hear. It, so sometimes I'm like, oh my god, yeah, like, like she said oh. that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and on top of that, it's like she's like, was she 17? She's 17. Crazy, like she's so smart for her age. I'm like, damn, she really like is. it's like you're ready to go. Like, you, like you're already like, like she's so mature. She knows exactly what she wants in life. She knows exactly like what she wants out of her career, and that's amazing. Mm-hmm. And I think that's when we get the the real stars. Like if you look at like a lot of the artists who who have come up, like, they usually are the shit by 16, 17. You know what I mean? Like, most of, for most of part, you know what I'm Damn, saying? Damn, I missed my time. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, so, yeah, it's over, oh, it's over, it's late. over for us, yeah. yeah. A little late, but we're still trying to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you look at, like, I was watching, um, uh, Hip Hop Evolution, this documentary series on Netflix, and, like, they were talking about Outkast, like, um, and, like, Outkast was the shit by 17, 18, you know what I mean? Like, love. yeah, yeah, who doesn't love Outkast, you you know what I mean? Uh, but like, you know, that 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 was just why I I mentioned that about Billie Eilish. It's like she's already like she's already Ill. doing it. Yeah, she's, she's already a, she already captured like the whole fucking world. Oh yeah, and I, and I think that's just so dope to see, man. And I just I definitely like you know she she ain't going nowhere. Like she's only gonna be going up unless right. unless something really bad happens, which God forbid, because I think... I think she's way too smart for anything bad to happen. She would never... I don't think that she'd put herself in a position where, like, she could be fucked up. Mm -hmm. No, I agree with you there. And then just, like, her messaging, the imagery she uses... It's everything. It's all all so different. It's definitely something we have... That's what captures everybody. Oh, yeah. It's it's everywhere from, like, the music or, like, the track that she picks to her lyrics and then to the visuals, too, and everything together. It's, like... If you're not vibing with one thing, watch the video and you'll understand the rest of the song. And that's mm. just it. It's like a video can enhance a song so much. Oh, yeah. That it's like, wait, this is like almost like two different songs. Like, yeah. Now, now I get it. Now mm-hmm. I get it. Like that one that she just put out. Um, like all a fire in the background. All good girls go to hell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that one was actually about like climate change and oh, like shit. how like the <laughs> angel or whatever the angel like goes down into the mud and then like she's like walking and then there's like gasoline everywhere because like that's just what's gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. If we keep <laughs> treating the earth mm-hmm. how we do, but like everybody like had an uproar because of it like that was a dope video people mm-hmm. are calling her demonic and shit but it's like no if you actually listen to the words and watch the video you'll see that like this is really hard to be yeah. like yo like we're all gonna die <laughs> yeah right yeah so, like, like, it's like y'all completely can, overlook the message call yeah. it demonic it's kind, i mean maybe it kind of is like yeah, it it's, might a, be a, it's sprinkle a grim of it. way to, yeah. <laughs> to like sprinkle that on to <laughs> society as a whole because like everybody everybody watches Billie Eilish yeah oh yeah I mean everyone knows who she is now she's she's already become a household name yeah. so yeah I think when people like 
they see the video and they have, oh, it's all demonic. I'm like, you didn't really listen, did you? Like, <laughs> listen. <laughs> like you were You're not you, getting it. Yeah, yeah, you weren't engaged with it. So, you know, I think that's dope. And it also shows, like, what, like, a music video can do if it's dope. You know right, what I'm saying? Yeah. right. And that's that's really hard to pull off. And it doesn't off. really matter if people like are saying like negative things or like positive things, because like all publicity is good publicity at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Like more people, like even with your bad comments, more people are gonna look at it and be like, oh, like I want to like make my own perception out of this. Yeah, 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 no, definitely. So like, you know, people are gonna take what they get out of music regardless. Yeah. But at the end yeah. of the day, an artist usually know, you know, they they have that one message that they're trying to get out there. So, yeah. and the, the the right people will get it, you know, right, exactly. and usually the majority too. So, yeah, I, the, all those artists are killing it. It's just really dope to see, just like, uh, you know, female artists in general just really just dominating. You know, what I'm saying I, I, it's about damn. Time. Like right now, I'm seeing it more than ever before. I I don't know if that's just me being older and more understanding of everything, but I really do feel like female artists right now are just killing shit. Like we are. just Yeah, for real. Like I'm yeah. not joking. Like killing shit right now. So and it's dope to see and it ain't slowing down. Like it no. ain't slowing down. So. Like I said, it's just the beginning. Just yeah, for just real. Just the beginning. Just 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 getting warmed up. Coming in hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Hot girl summer's over. Mhm. Mm What's what's next now? What are we what are we calling um, this fall? Thotum. Is it Thotum? Okay. <laughs> yeah, they're saying Thotum, and then uh, I think Twenty One Savage said "fuck boy fall." I'm like, uh, <laughs> I don't I don't know if we want to include the male the male population in this. Yeah, I was like, uh, it's still the girls' time. No, nah, that's fair. That's fair. I, I I'm with that. Uh, <laughs> this this fuck boy fall just. Uh, <laughs> oh. I don't want to call myself a fuck boy. I don't like that. <laughs> like, I, don't I don't like that either. Yeah, I was like, I don't even think most girls like that either. <laughs> so I don't know. But <laughs> anyway, um, what uh, what's next for Jalikur? What's next? I'm going to Miami. Hey, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm going to Miami this weekend, and then like after that, I'm really gonna get focused. Like, I I, I need to finish the songs that I have. I I need to. Make sure that the ad libs are just like sounding right. Like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm terrible at ad libs, so I'll like <laughs> I'll go into the session and like try and record like 50 different times and yeah. like see which ones like actually sound good because ad libs like really like put so much into a song. Hell like, yeah, it gives it so it much really character. It really enhances it, makes it, it gives it way more depth and. Mm -hmm. It can also fuck up the song real good. <laughs> yeah. So, like, it, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have like a really good bass line, so I just want to make sure that like it's enhanced at, at the right moments and um, mm -hmm. it helps the beat out too. So I I'm gonna try and focus more on that. Definitely, that's awesome to hear. You know, you're just taking your time with it, making sure that everything you're working on is yeah. exactly where it needs to be. So that's that's dope. Yeah. Don't you know? There's no need to rush. You know. We don't release no mediocre shit. Mm, mm. Tell them. <laughs> tell them. Let them know. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry for the wait. But what? What you want? Trash? No. You want trash? Or you We're want not something? selling trash out here. Nah, no trash. We don't got time for that. And if you do, people gonna call you out on it, one way or the Absolutely. other. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Jolly cure. Jolly cure. Jolly cure. <laughs> <laughs> That's my French accent, y'all. Thank you for being on this week's episode. I really appreciate it. Thank you so uh, much. Plug your shit for the people. Where can they follow you? Oh, you can follow me on Spotify, on iTunes, SoundCloud, all that. It's Jolly cure. J O L I C O E U R. Mm -hmm. And then my Instagram is Jackie Jolly cure. And Jackie is spelled with a Q U I, so J A C Q U I, Jolique. Mm. Awesome, awesome. Once again, thank you for being on. I really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, that's episode 43, all right? Shout out to PRVX Podcast Garage from High Quality Sounds, man. Until next time, y'all, peace.